Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name is Adam Weiser. I'm the Fluke Territory Sales Manager for New England and I'm here today at Test Equipment Depot to talk about the new Fluke II910 Industrial Sonic Imager. Uh, this is a new and improved version of our extremely popular I I900 platform that we launched a couple years ago uh, with some, some enhanced features. First and foremost, the, uh, what we've done is we've, we've increased, increased the sensitivity. Uh, so what we've noticed is that as you increase the sensitivity on the microphones here in the front, this makes it much, much easier to detect smaller compressed air, gas, and vacuum leaks. And the other thing that it's going to do is we, it, the increased sensitivity is going to allow us to detect uh, partial discharge in high voltage and medium voltage electrical systems. The other thing that we've done is we've increased the frequency range. The II-900 goes up to about a maximum of 52 kilohertz, whereas the new II-910 has a max range of 100 kilohertz. This does a couple of different things. This allows you to increase the detection distance. So from about 70 meters with the I-900 to about 120 meters or up to 400 feet with the I-910, depending on conditions. Um, other than that, the, the platform is essentially the same. We have the same uh, seven inch touchscreen where you can access all the menus, change modes, a couple of the different things about the different capture modes that we have available now are two things. There is a leak queue mode and there is a PDQ mode. And in those two modes, what we're now able to do is start to monetize and, and do some online calculations and some reporting for what we're finding in the field. So when we enter leak queue mode, this is actually going to allow us to, using the, uh, using the, the camera to capture an air leak or a vacuum leak, what we can do is we can now get a distance to the target. We can get a severity scale. And from that data, we can actually download that into our leak queue calculator. And what that does, if we put in a couple of variables like uh, what's the pressure on the line, what's the KWH charge, we can start to understand a little bit better how much energy are we losing at that leak per year. And so you can really start to justify uh, having a tool like this um, in, your, in your maintenance uh, program. The other mode I wanted to talk about <clears throat> is the PDQ mode. So similar to the leak Q mode, the PDQ mode actually can help us um, create a report to identify the probability of what type of um, electrical event that we're seeing. So I enter into PDQ mode. What the microphones are doing is they're actually capturing the pulse counts that are coming off of the medium to high voltage gear. It allows us to, by listening for those pulses, what we can do is we can give a probability of what type of electrical discharge are we seeing? Are we seeing arcing? Are we seeing just regular old Corona, which is oftentimes normal operation? Are we seeing surface tracking? Are we seeing internal tracking? These are all things that are extremely important to um, both utilities and uh, manufacturers who may have their own power systems. Um, helps increase the uptime helps reduce maintenance time, much, much safer to use, and obviously the cost and the energy savings is crucial. For additional information, feel free to contact your Test Equipment Depot rep. Uh, I'm Adam Weiser. Thanks for watching.